In this video, I'll demonstrate how to connect to a SQL Server table. The first part of the demonstration, I'll use Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express and create a new project, a Windows Form application, choose the Data Sources window, and then choose Add New Data Source. The application will get the data from a database. Choose Next. Choose Dataset as a type of database model. Choose Next. And then choose a new connection. Your data source, choose Change. It will be a Microsoft SQL Server database file. This is an important distinction, the SQL Server database file. Leave the data provider as is and choose OK. Your database file name will be the SQL Server file from the Doc Sharing tab of our course, karate.mdf. You can choose to test connection, and you should get a successful connection in Visual Basic 2010. In newer versions, you may get an error on the test connection, and I will demonstrate that a bit later. Choose OK. Choose OK to move forward. Choose Next. You will get a message talking about the local data file, and choose Yes. Save the connection string and next. Here you can choose the database objects to include in the data set such as the tables and choose finish. And here you can see your successful data source connection to your Karate data set. And here in your Solution Explorer, here is your file and data set. Now I'm going to exit Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express and I'm going to move into Microsoft Visual Studio 2013. In Microsoft Visual Studio 2013, very similar process. I'll start a new project. Windows Form Application in Visual Basic. To add the data source, I have two choices. I can go to Tools, Connect to Database, or I can view my Server Explorer. I can right-click on Data Connections and add a connection. I want to change my data source. Here again, make sure you choose the Microsoft SQL Server database file. Leave your data provider and choose your Karate MDF from the Doc Sharing tab of our course. But when you choose Test Connection here, you will receive an error saying the database file is not compatible. That's OK. Just choose OK to move forward, and it will ask you to upgrade the database file. Choose Yes, and it will go ahead and give you a successful connection to the database. And here is your Karate MDF connection.